हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल हेलो गाइस फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू सीरीज ऑन फायर बेस एंड दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन फायर बेस ऑथेंटिकेशन there are so many technology available in firebase to make authentication like by using facebook by google sign in by email id by username password and so many techniques in this video i am going to explain authentication with email and password you will write a email any email of any particular website and just write the password not the mail password any password that you want to keep and with the help of that you can make authentication through firebase so here i have designed the layout that firebase authentication and email address password if i will click on the register button then first time user will register and if i click on the login button then it will login with the predefined registered mail id so just the beginning and if the successful login is conducted then the next page will open that page would be like this and here i will display that congratulations you learn firebase authentication so like this we will run this application whenever i will click on log out button then we will log out from the authentication new id can be logged so now i am starting the coding for that we have to make some changes some library we have to add so it's not easy to uh, learn all the steps of firebase that's why google is providing a tool that is uh, called uh, firebase so go to the tool and click on the firebase and it is the firebase assistant that will help us to make a coding so here there are so many things available on firebase just i we want to use authentication there are so many mechanism like authentication with google sign in java using kotlin then facebook using java then kotlin then custom authentic authentication using java then using kotlin so we will go for this kotlin because i am my series is based on kotlin then first step is just to click on connect to firebase that will reach to the browser and where we will make a uh, your login with the gmail id so i will use this id and enter your password then it will go to the firebase console and it will ask to create a project so here i have already created a project but if you do not have a project then create click on add a project and then follow the step i have already project so i am clicking on this and it will reach here and it will also give information that you have connected you click on this connect and it will give the information that you are connected like this so now uh, we have connected now in new tab we can open the firebase console and here we can type firebase console and we have to go to the firebase console also like this go to console now i have to select my project and here i am on the project and you see this is the authentication tab so i will click on this and here i have already one id so i am just removing right now we can remove this we will create a new one now signing method method we have to go and you have to choose the one which you want to use like from microsoft account yahoo github twitter facebook game center play whatever you want to use a phone number i want email id that's why already enable otherwise you just click on this and do enable okay that is the thing here and you can enable this also email link but we are not using this right now so but we have enable the email and password 
now whenever i will add some id this id will come here mail id will come here with the information of user id so now i will make a coding in the android studio using kotlin programming language that will insert the user here with a mail id so go there now we have to click on add to add the firebase library so these are the library which we are going to use and click on this accept and it is also saying that you can use bomb library bomb library is the new concept of adding the firebase uh, sdk library uh, without using a version so click on this also it will go to the browser and from here we can use the bomb like this these are the dependencies So I will use this one, this one, copy and it is synchronizing the griddle. So I go to the Android, then we have a griddle here, so synchronization is going on. You see automatically trying to insert the library. You see done. So I will add my bomb library of Firebase here. Copy and I will remove this one because I am not using this. But you can use if you want, there is no problem. But I am showing the, uh, the latest library that we are using or la latest approach. So we are not using Firestore right now. We are using only authentication. So that's why we are using it here. So bomb library we have implemented. But if we are using bomb library, then do not need to insert the version of the library. Like this, we are using version. But here we do not need to write the version of the library. Without a version, any library can be used. So it, it is more compatible with older version also. And here is the bomb library. This is the way to use the by new way. And now I just do synchronization. So it is done, synchronization has been done. So one step has been done. Now we are going to the custom authentication. So click here, the step which we have to follow. So uh, I just close now Gradle and we have to click on this complete guide, guide for authentication using custom system. We will, we will reach to the here. Yeah. Then I will click on password authentication. Remember, we have to go to password authentication. Now, in password authentication, you see it is saying that you have to add this library also because it's for Kotlin. So, I just copy this and I go to the Gradle. So here I see bomb library is 28.4 authentication library is KT X means Kotlin library. So in place of this, this is Java library. I just replace the Kotlin library like this. So this is same which we have for Kotlin bomb library is same. Just we have to use KT X again. So this has been done. Now what we have to do, we have to scroll down and we have to make the changes like we have to create this object and we have to initialize the Firebase authentication. Then we go to the main activity like this and here just I paste the this one and I remove this and I just copy this authentication line at the beginning like this 
and this I just import the library. So we have import the library. Now we have to import this one also. We have import this also. We have to import this authentication key also. So we have imported all the required library. Done. So this step has been done. Now second step is override the on start method and check whether the user is login or log out. So we are just overriding a one method like this. I'm minimizing this one uh, right now. So you see now it is checking that uh, if the user is already logged in, then checking, then no need to show the login or registration screen. And this method is going to be start. So we are saying that start a home activity. Like this, we are creating a one function, and this function we are going to create a function, and this function will start the new activity that we are creating here intent equal to intent. And we are passing here the reference this at the rate main activity, and here we are passing the second activity that is home page. like this and now I just start the activity and say intent. So you see if the user is already registered or login then we are still going to the second activity by using on a start method. Now done first thing now we have to go down and we have to make a registration coding just copy this one. No need to remember the code. These are the steps which we have to follow. And now this code I will enter in the registration button. So I am saying binding dot. I am using view binding and registration button dot set on click listener. On click listener. And here I will enter my code. So this code I am entering here and I will do all the changes. First of all, I am checking. I'm just uh, uh, username, uh, email ID, and password. So if I'm checking here, if binding dot, we can say txt email dot text dot is empty, and binding dot txt password dot txt dot is empty like this if say if is not empty if this is not empty then we will do the coding which we are doing here like this else we give the information that kindly write email and password Finally, write email and password because it's a blank and we say toast dot short dot show like this. We done this one and then what we need we have to we need the username and password. So we say val email equal to email equal to this one this while this text box so binding dot txt email dot text dot to string like this and then well we have a password equal to binding dot txt password dot txt dot to string like this. So we done this. Now if the authentication is successful, so we are just removing the log thing, log file 
and we are saying here that if if authentication current user not equal to null then we are going to start the new activity that is start home activity method we are calling it here okay then it is done else if there is some problem then we have to display the information what information that authentication failed okay so this is done registration has been done if successfully registered then go to the next activity otherwise inform authentication failed so this has been done now we have to make a coding next coding that for login so go down here and then we have the same process for this and here is the coding for signing so if already registered user then we have to make the changes like this so again i am using the binding dot btn login then set on click listener then on click listener like this and here i will just do the copy of that code again i have to check so i am checking this one i am copying this part so uh, that i am checking again the authentic these are not no, should not be empty and then i am going down then i am going this part also copy and just i am it is starting from here and here So here I have to paste this coding also. So I need else for this. So if this one is started here, we have a else here, and then we will close the that function also. So we're done here everything so now we are checking if same coding we have to prefer here the same logic this is successful then else so if successful go there and go there so we copy this part and again just in place of this and we paste this you see if successful login start activity otherwise say login fail so like this way we have created the authentication page and now i try to start if it is no problem then it will start you see it is coming now we have to write here the mail id at the rate guide.edu anything i can write and here i am writing any password one two three four five six seven eight anything you can write but should be minimum eight character click on register and you see it not giving information so i will put the information also register but we are going to the second activity because we have got the registration and you see in a browser also if we have here and we refresh it we will have this id here you see the id has been added because we have added with this now one thing is that i will click on login logout button then no login will be performed and if i run it again 
so automatically i will come to the second activity so it would it would not ask me to enter again the id because i have login already you see now second activity will come in place of first one you see second is coming in place of first one so now i will click on log out and i can again register with different id or i can log in again so i am going to the home page number home activity means activity 2 and here i just make a coding of logout button so binding dot btn logout dot set on click listener on click listener and here i will write the coding of firebase authentication so firebase dot auth dot sign out so first of all i have to import this library also then sign out this only this function this line we have to add and we have to reach to the new first activity for login activity so i am just redirecting to the first activity so this at the rate home page now i am giving the url of the main activity for login again like this and start activity okay now i start it again and you will see the changes again i will go to the second activity but when i click on logout button then my first activity will come for login again or for registering with new id so i log out here and i will go to the first activity from here i can log in with previous id like this dot kumar at the rate guide dot edu and password is one two three four five six seven eight then login so it will log in me again to the second activity you see and log out if you want to register a different id then follow the same step just write the id and the password and you will have the another id here in place of here id with this id so it means any number of user you can add any number of mail id you can register once you log in then you can log out with another id so this is the way to use the authentication mechanism of email and password in firebase there are so many other options is also available login with google id or facebook id twitter id github id so one by one we will see all these things in future videos also so that's all in this video thank you for watching guys mm -hmm.